Monday, 30th of June, 2014. A gherkin. A uh, green pepper, green sweet pepper. A jalapeno pepper. Lots of other things. That's my palm potato down in the corner. Tomato on the top, tomato potato underground. Interesting. There is a courgette, sorry, a courgette, a cucumber. Um, my tomatoes, which are finally starting to give me a bit of colour, will be in a nice and salad at the end of the week. Beef tomatoes coming along lovely. Um, some seedlings there, beetroot and pak choy and things, ready to be potted up. The uh, greenhouse, as you can see, is very damp, but it's all on the outside. There was a bit of a damp patch came down overnight. <coughs> I'm going to go the opposite way, so we'll have a little look at the river just now. <coughs> as you can see, it's kind of on the low side. But as you can see also, it's beautiful and clear. Um, quite often see the fishes swimming by. You get sung a little song there by somebody. Still need to tidy up the back of the allotment, so I'll uh, skip by that quickly. Just had my breakfast here. Um, absolutely beautiful this morning. And there's what the plot looks like from afar. Um, got some celeriac down here, which is due for getting potted on. A strawberry patch which is not failing to disappoint. Um, lots of big lovely ripe strawberries. Yeah, you can probably just about see that one in the background there. Um, this pack choy has run away from me but the uh, fennel's good. I've got a little pumpkin which seems to have started wakening up. Some lettuces down here. Um, various other things. Uh, Comfrey, I've got some outdoor tomatoes, potatoes are looking really good, perhaps time to pick up, onions looking great, sweet corn's really really started to blast on in the last week or two. Um, over here I've got a pumpkin, um, I don't think that one's going to take, but as you can see there are fresh flowers this morning. More potatoes, Fruit bushes are starting to come on, although I'm going to have to fight the birds, I think, for them. What we do have in here are some lovely gooseberries, which will be uh, getting eaten soon, let's be honest. Over here we've got cabbages and uh, calabrese, broccoli, whatever you want to call it. Loads of um, kale, which is obviously the old new superfood. More onions, my courgette plants, two different types, Italian striped and green bush, doing very, very well. Another pumpkin down here. Two pumpkins that were on it didn't set, so I'm not surprised, it's still early yet. The peas are coming along, we're starting to crop them. I put my carrots under here due to a uh, carrot fly last year. I really don't want that again, that was horrible digging them all up and them going to waste. Um, really need to take that net off, I just haven't had time. At the front there I have got my cauliflowers. Um, we'll have a look down and in. I don't know what we can see there. And finally at the front here I've got my artichokes, which I have no idea what to do with, which is why they're still on the plant. Little flower border at the front, which looks really, really nice at the moment. Um, it's attracting a lot of bees. These lilies look like they're on fire, which is fantastic. It's really nice to meet you when you get to the plot. Um, ladies' mantle, some kind of daisies over here. Um, Foxlove are starting to go off. And finally, the rose, which is absolutely beautiful. This camera does not pick it up or do it justice, but it looks lovely. As a whole, the allotments are looking absolutely magnificent. Most of them are completely green. Most of them are tidy, which is nice. Um, and people will be starting to crop an awful lot of fruit and vegetables from down here very, very shortly. Beautiful morning this morning. I'm going to stop rambling and we'll let, it, um, we'll let you listen to the birds for five minutes or a minute or two. Um, come back soon. Thanks now.